Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. Today I want to talk to you about something that I find really interesting and I think it's a trend right now. And that is um, how to take your office or your home office in your closet that was temporary, supposedly, and bring it up to a whole new level. I'm calling it Home Office 2.0. So it's hard to believe that it has been almost a year since COVID struck and since we were suddenly um, required to shelter in place and to figure out how to um, work and learn from our homes full time. Most of us scrambled to find anywhere to work in our home. You know, it could have been um, and create a makeshift office, um, assuming of course that it would be short term. So we worked on our kitchen table, on the kitchen counter, on the dining room table, and many people discovered um, a way to carve out a home office in their closets. And that was a quiet space and they could, you know, literally close a door. So many got really creative. They actually removed doors. They put in a work surface, um, filing, shelving, um, so that they kind of simulated a, um, a, a cubicle like they might have had at their office. So some got even fancier. They um, painted that back wall a color that really was attractive to them. Some used wall covering. Um, anything they could do to make that temporary um, and makeshift office their own. But after a year of working in their offices um, or in the, these makeshift areas, and after realizing how much they might have enjoyed working from home, um, that they don't have to be at the office every single day. Um, many have decided um, that working from home is now going to be their new normal. So they want to know how can they um, design a more permanent home office that is more effective. So they would need everything that they used to have in their other office um, when they were working um, at an office. Um, they want to find a way to be more productive and more efficient and they want to actually find a space that they enjoy going to and that you know it'll make working from home um, even more pleasurable. So I have some tips that I'd like to share with you today to create your own home office 2.0. So number one and this is ideal that you would have a dedicated space in your home that you can literally close the door um, separating off your home life from your work life. I think this has so much to do with, um, you know, creating that balance that we're all looking for so that you're at work or you're at home. The second thing is to have sufficient workspace. So in your former office, likely you had a desk, maybe a return, maybe a small conference table. Um, all of these um, are, you know, necessary to create um, a good work environment. So a, a proper desk, maybe a return, files, storage, shelving, anything like that to create um, the, the space that you actually need to work. The third is a proper desk height. Many people have been working on, um, you know, various table heights and so forth, and they're experiencing neck strain, back strain. So having a desk that is a standard height, 29 to 30 inches, um, and also maybe an adjustable desk height, which many of us are using for working and standing, but that will prevent any of that, that neck and back strain. The, se the next thing is a proper mo monitor height. And so ideally you are looking straight into the monitor um, to avoid that eye strain, back strain. And then another is an ergonomic chair. So just like at your office, you probably had a chair that um, fit you. Um, ideally, you're going to be able to sit in that chair so that you know that it, it adjusts to a proper height, that your arms, um, when sitting, are flat and level with your keyboard or your mouse. Um, one thing I'd like to recommend in a home office is that you have multiple work spaces. So there's your desk, and then there's the return, um, and then maybe there's a conference table of some kind, and a, a seating area. So I think that this helps not only with productivity, but also with creativity to be able to move around. And of course, all of you have heard this from me, good lighting is essential. So that there is good overall ambient lighting, um, that the room is well lit that way, 
um, that there is good task lighting. So for those particular tasks that you have that um, you need to do close work, <clears throat> that, that would also be necessary. And then of course, um, natural light. We all need natural light, want natural light, just but just be um, careful that it's not um, creating glare on your screen. So other things that we of course will need would be head, headsets, um, wireless earbuds um, to you know take those calls and to zone out the noises behind us, a good microphone, um, a print scan copy area. Ideally that would be um, a place where you can actually collate, um, have all the paper storage and all the necessary things that you, you need. And then of course the good internet, the surge protection, the backup, all of those things would be um, necessary for a good home office. Um, but last, not least, is um, the, the surfaces and the finishes that are appealing to you, things that make you happy. You know, the right color, um, the right kind of lighting, the right kind of fabrics and seating, um, the right kind of finishes. Um, those are the things that people often underestimate and the impact that that um, environment has on their ability to work um, efficiently and effectively. So, and with so many of us having Zoom call after Zoom call, um, it's also important to have a Zoom friendly home office. Now that's a completely separate subject. I'll be covering that next week on my Facebook Live. But if you have any questions or if you want to um, get some help on your own home office, I do offer virtual consulting or in-home consulting. I'd love to talk to you. You can reach out to me at Rita Wilkins at RitaWilkins.com. Um, and I will see you soon. Thanks.